Welcome to Make a Path Presents, and today in the review room we're taking a look at AMC's Lucille role-playing bat. You can find these at GameStop and Toys R Us, the only two stores that I personally know of. Or you could check Amazon. I don't think they fully release yet until mid-December. You can find limited quantities uh, at your local GameStop or maybe online possibly. But if you can't find them right away, don't freak out because... Like I said, around the 20th of December, I think that's when they're going to fully release these online. So you can find them at like Big Bad Toy Store, Toy Whiz, um, Big Boys Toys, all those other sites you're used to buying your collectibles at. From calling all the local uh, GameStops, they only gave one of these to every single GameStop I've called. I've called like several, so I don't understand what that's about. Maybe it's a production thing, but with that said, it's too big to fit in the full screen, and I don't want to do a far away shot because I want you guys to see up close the details. So let's take a look at this bat, starting with the box quickly. You got Lucille with some very awesome decorative cubby is it that serious you got lucille with some very awesome um, barbed wire going around the bat some blood splatter says lucille on it and then on the top you have a showcase window that is really cool for you inbox collectors the box is probably one of the best box boxes they have so far the original one from skybound which is a comic version which looks different uh, it's actually shorter there is a longer version and it's made of vinyl and uh, there is definitely a difference, but those boxes as well, as far as displays, they looked fantastic also. Here's the back of the box just real quick. We have a, a product image of the bat, and then down at the bottom, you have some more information, and then you have figures. These are all already on the market, and this guy, you can find him only at Walgreens. I can't find him anywhere, so let me see what this says. This says, highly detailed bat. Yada yada yada, different language. Anyway, let's pop this open. It looks like there's just for you collectors out there, you inbox collectors, it looks like there is just a little uh, piece of tape there. Go ahead and cut the tape. Stick some flat object like a butter knife or box cutter. This way you don't tear the shit out of your box. Just a little uh, tip for you inbox collectors. And then we have a piece of cardboard on the inside. It looks like it flips open like so and then you can pull the bat right out and I recommend you do this from the handle end because you have that little space there again so you're not putting pressure on the product and tearing shit open it's not a big deal in this case because I plan on displaying this if I don't knock everything down off the shelf behind me it pulls cleanly right out of the box and then you have this uh, plastic holder here and it specifically says right on it not a toy <laughs> and that says that in a couple different languages this looks like a sticker we're gonna take that off look and i'm not a toy <laughs> yeah that was a pain in the ass oh joy there's another one okay so you got the two tabs out and then you can take the bat and Ease it right out of the plastic there, get rid of the plastic. And immediately I'm seeing a couple questionable parts uh, right off the bat. Yeah, I know. Right here, I don't understand what this is about. Uh, you have such nice detail, but then you got a line, just a distraction, both here at the bottom. This isn't bad at all. I don't even care about that. But uh, right here, that is an immediate eyesore as soon as I uh, open the box, I notice that. So I'm not sure what that's about. Maybe... That's just the easiest way to make the bat instead of one piece. They have a couple. It looks like they have three pieces. One here, one here, and then the big piece on the end. Um, with that said, the other noticeable distraction, which it does make sense, obviously, now that I'm thinking about it, you have this piece of barbed wire hanging. The main distraction one was at the top. It looks like this was supposed to connect, but it's ripped off. I've seen a lot of images online that all look like that. So yeah, it looks like they just added a piece to go from here to here. That's what gives you, look at all the different ends. You have three different open ends. That just kind of looks silly. But uh, with that said, if that's the only way to, you know, put it like that, maybe that's even screen accurate. I don't know. I do love this. I do appreciate that. That's definitely screen accurate. The negatives out of the way, I don't think there are any other negatives because this is one sexy ass uh, collectible here. I know it says a replica for cosplay, so if you're into cosplaying, 
this is probably perfect. This is probably a must have. Now the bat is solid. The bat doesn't bend. I don't want to put too much pressure because it's split there because it's in pieces, but the bat is definitely solid. I don't mean solid as in like a rock, but it's definitely very sturdy. It's not uh, bendable at all. And the barbed wire is pretty pliable. It feels like the plastic that's similar to the gun holsters on the figures. It feels like that kind of uh, plastic. But you're not going to get hurt. Uh, it is a little pokey, but it's nothing that's going to come close to even hurting you. However, it's got some good weight to it. It's got, got some really good weight to it. I can't really see you getting in trouble taking this to a convention. I kind of feel like since they label this as a role playing for cosplayer, I know some conventions are strict at, compared to others, but I personally don't see anyone throwing a fit with this kind of bat. It's definitely super realistic. But with that said, once they touch it, they probably won't care. It is a full-size bat, and it does have some wonderful detail on it. Uh, this circle here, I will say it does look a tad bit blurry or faded, but it definitely works. It gets the job done. I think if you want a nice close-up look at the barbed wire, I think they did a really, really good job. Uh, with the wood grain look because this is a plastic bat it feels just a little bit harder than the original comic released vinyl uh, but this does say this is plastic and the skybound comic book version did say it was vinyl so but as far as feeling it it just feels like that similar if you do have that other bat it feels very similar but the detail is wonderful can you get up close with that barbed wire there yeah you see that detail that is fantastic if I were to measure them both from the bat that Skybound sent me which is a really uh, wooden bat with aluminum on the end and then it has this aluminum or the yeah it has this foam for the barbed wire which is definitely cool uh, you can see that it is the same size this is a lighter wood with more uh, wood grain look to it, probably more accurate to the TV show. Uh, this one is just a fun uh, limited prop. I love this thing, but it is a real wooden bat, so it's the same exact size. And I just noticed too, on the bottom, you have product information a little bit, but you also have that number four. And I was told that's actually on uh, regular bats that is 40 or 34 inches and if it said number two it means it's 32 inches that's just what someone said actually that's what a lot of people said so I'm taking their word for it <laughs> I don't think they would lie about something like that with that said yes this is probably one of the most accurate realistic uh, collectible bats for Lucille that's on the market right now. That is an official prop. I know every time we show off the official merchandise, we always get a hundred comments saying, just, you know, buy a regular one that someone makes like a custom one. I will end up in, you know, getting a real Lucille bat with real barbed wire eventually in my collection. That is a must, but I am also into collecting the official merchandise. So that's the key right there that's what makes it a little more important it is the official merchandise with that being said i am definitely going to be adding a couple more lucille bats in my collection one real one a double of this so i can keep it in box as a collectible in case you haven't seen what the comic one looked like you can even see a size difference already i do still really 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 love the design of this box that's one of the main reasons i keep this in uh in the box as a collectible you guys know this is the one I display or I used to display out of the box. I'm not picky when it comes to uh, this guy. I do know if you're looking for him. He is a tad bit expensive nowadays. This was the very first Lucille they released and it has a lot of the comic book image going around the box which makes it very appealing uh, for a collector on a display. But you can already tell the size difference and if you want to get a little look at how different it is uh, visually you can get a little look there to be honest it looks like the barbed wire is exactly the same now the barbed wire on the new Lucille the AMC Lucille looks like it has a little bit 
different paint job but other than that the thickness the design the style it looks very very similar it's just a bat that is very different the bat has more of a wood grain painted into the amc bat but the barbed wire is identical almost just different paint you have more black giving it more of a shadow more of a realistic look this is more of all gray barbed wire so and again size difference you have the handles right around there at the top and then the bottom the accurate bat the accurate size now with that being said skybound does have a full size bat so for you collectors who want to know every official bat that's released you have the mini color let's call it the mini black and white with blood splatter then you have the full size vinyl one from skybound which is also a different color it's colored but it's a lighter color bat and then you have the amc this is the very first amc bat they released and then skybound also has keychains that are four inches and I think there's like 16 different color variations and those are in blind box style. So if you're a big time Negan and Lucille fan, I'm pretty sure that's all of them out on the market. This bat in particular, I'm gonna give a high recommend. This is a must have. So for your holiday shopping season, make sure you stop in at GameStop or Toys R Us and go ahead and add a Lucille bat to your collection. And if you're noticing the shirt, thewalkinfans.com, I'll try to remember to put a link to uh, this shirt and others they have on their site. But with that said, thanks for coming by the review room. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. Subscribe now.